Uh, it's, it is uh, true. I am married. I do have two kids. I thought he was gay. No. No. A lot of people think I'm gay. Uh, no. Uh, I know this because I have Googled myself three or four times a day. And what I have found is that inevitably when people are discussing me on the internet, there will be this uh, topic heading. Gay? Question mark? Or oftentimes just gay, period. <laughs> but not. Um, although, you know, my whole life people have thought that. And uh, like I remember in high school, the guys gave me a nickname. Uh, faggot. <laughs> And I always, I understand that the, the intention of calling somebody, you know, faggot or whatever is to make them feel emasculated. It never really did that for me. You know, I, I've never understood why that would make you feel less like a man, you know, calling somebody gay. But if you want to do that, if you want to emasculate somebody, I have some suggestions, which I will share with you if you'd like to hear them. And these are, these are good ways to make your, this works, these, these ideas all work very well with, with men. Some for women, not as much, but you'll see what I mean. Say you're at a, uh, a birthday party for one of your guy friends, right? They bring out the birthday cake, candles are lit, everybody's singing happy birthday. Right before he blows out the candles, you blow out the candles. <laughs> so, you know, it's happy birthday to you. <laughs> what the fuck? He'll be really mad at you, you know? But he'll be embarrassed as to the reason why he's mad at you. <laughs> you understand, right? You stole his wish. <laughs> you stole your buddy's wish. <laughs> Fuck, man! You stole my wish, dude! I'm just gonna wish for a pony. <laughs> It's a kind of thing that is very, very funny to talk about after the fact, but when you do it, it's not going to be funny at all. <laughs> Nobody's going to be like, good one. You're not going to get that. <laughs> Another thing you can do is when you're at a restaurant, like, you know, say you're at Denny's, okay? And, right? Denny's is a restaurant. <laughs> And you're, you know how when people, when you're at a restaurant, people always say, what are you going to get? What are you going to get? I just think that's a funny thing to ask. Like, what are you going to get? I always want to go, I'm not going to tell you. Because it's going to blow your mind. <laughs> but, but people do that. You know, you ask what you're going to get. So you ask your friend, what are you going to get? And he says, oh, I don't know, I'm going to get the Grand Slam, a couple of eggs, toast, bacon, coffee, orange juice. Okay. So you just, you absorb that information. Then when the waitress comes, she'll go, you guys ready to order? And you say, yeah, he's going to have the Grand Slam breakfast, a couple of eggs, bacon, coffee, OJ. <laughs> It's one of those things that if you do it to a guy, like you don't even know that's taboo until it happens. And then you've really fucked up your friend. But the best part is if the waitress has a question, she'll ask you because he's obviously your bitch. Something else you can do? You know, sometimes the cops are in the toll booths when they don't have toll booth people and they have the cops in there. You drive up to the toll booth, you roll down your window, you give the cop your money, you say, thanks lover, and then you drive away. <laughs> he will feel like he just got the tiniest bit raped. 